All right, so it is chick feeding time now, and there's a lot of them. Look at all you guys, huh? All right, who's ready uh, for some food? Let's find out. <laughs> and they don't need uh, mom to tell them what's food anymore. And we're getting a little bit more tolerable of uh, human touch, which is good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, not that one. Oh, I'm just gonna climb right into my hand. <laughs> All right, Red, don't you bite too hard. And this right here is the best part of owning a uh, farm-themed petting zoo. <laughs> Which is a joke because that's not at all what's going on here. These guys are going to grow up to be my chicken-based insecticide is what it is. Uh, first year we were out here at this uh, ranch. The bugs were absolutely terrible. In fact, the, the night that we arrived, uh, I turned on the outdoor lights right off of the uh, kitchen, and I opened the door to take one of the boxes out, you know, moving boxes, and uh, it was open for a little bit, just long enough to get the box out the door, which, you know, is longer than usual. And when I came back in the house, the ceiling was nothing but weird rural bugs all on the ceiling or on the lights and you know of course in the kitchen so I knew then we were gonna have to do something but if you try using you know poisons and stuff like that you're just you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on that so we got animals that kind of handle that actually the goats were first and uh, that was because I realized that there's no way I was going to be able to tame all of this out here so that we didn't have, you know, all kinds of weird things living up right next to the house, which I didn't want to deal with. So I got them to keep the brush down and they're doing not a very good job, as you can see. <laughs> um, they barely handle it, but there's 10 of them and I've decided to get small goats instead of big ones. What are you doing, huh? The two mama hens have really been doing a pretty good job. Although, it usually works out that one's got one or two chicks, and then the other's got all the rest, which is, you know, six or seven. So it's kind of funny. But the chicks are coming along just fine. They're cute as ever. Let's catch one and get a close look at it. There we go. How are we doing, little guy? Ooh, you are packed full of food. That's how we like our chicks, huh? It's okay. It's okay. Here, put you down. Just wanted to get a look at you. And there we go. We don't run off too far. They're definitely warming up to me. Which is good. Especially for you guys, because it's about nighttime, so all the rest of this is going to go right back into the barrel, because there's so much left here. They were begging me for food right at the edges of where everybody else was eating, so I figured that they would eat a bunch, but uh, that didn't happen. Extremely loud. I'm going to check you guys' water. Huh. You know that or Mama Hen's just the, the hungry one. Here, I'll put a little more down there for Mama Hen's. Don't pick my fingers. All right, but that's probably pretty good. Looks like they're the hungry ones. <laughs> and they're pecking out all the corn, which is fine, because the babies eat this little round seed here. I don't know what it's called at all. But all the animals on the farm that uh, uh, don't come when I say uh, puppy food are all big on corn. Chickens, geese, ducks, goats, they all like the corn more than everything else, which is fine by me, because that's cheap. <laughs> all right. 